Okay. Just thought I'd uh, see how you're getting on. What with, you know, what has happened to Paul and that. You think I'd come to you for counselling? How long are you going to keep this up, Sarah? Mum isn't coming back because of you. She will eventually. You reckon? I got a phone call. She reckons she hasn't found a manager for the garage yet, but we all know why she's really staying there. OK, look, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> sorry? You tried to sleep with the bloke who she'd been in love with. One, it was over between them. Super thin ice. And two, I didn't actually do anything. Yeah, only because Al turned you down. Anyway, I don't believe you. Well, don't believe me! I just need you to stop hating me. I don't hate you. Because if I did, that'd mean I'd cared in some way. <sighs> Crying out loud. Fine, I can manage. Why do bad things always happen to good people, eh? I didn't realise it was you. Hiya. Hi. Wow, I'm surprised you're even talking to me. Not really sure you can count that as talking. Well, I'll take what I can get. Yeah, well. Hey, wait, how are you doing? I'm okay. And this is the bit where you maybe ask me the same question back. You know, it's talking. And then I tell you that I'm actually really missing you. Both you and Sarah. Maybe I hate that it's got to this. Well, then let's end it. Start again. Babe, please. Do you know what? You not being in my life is totally doing my head in. Even if I agreed, Sarah what? Well, she might if you helped. Come on, do you know what? If the three of us made up, there's be way more chance of Deb's coming back, wouldn't there? And that's something we all want, isn't it? I suppose so. Well, then. Can at least you and I try and be friends again? All right. But you're on a trial. And I'll tell you something, you've got a long way to go with Sarah. 